Hello everybody, my name is Katakuna and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, we <laughs> um we found Kushi and we also found Ume and we also <laughs> found Kokari and it was like a whole mesh of things put together and we fought Ube, who was actually a canine warrior. I mean, who would have even thunk it? But in this episode, we're gonna go and get the last canine warrior. So uh, let's do that, yes. Um, it actually has to be uh, night to do that. So let's put our knights, uh, our, um, yeah, are still good use, shall we? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, all right, let's go and uh, and get the last canine warrior. Huh? I wonder who it could be. Just wonder. I mean, what other dog is in the in Kamiki Village? I can't even talk right now. But anyways, it has to be night to do this. Um, ooh, the canine tracker is is reacting. Alright. So uh, let's follow this canine tracker over to What is this? What is this? Hmm? What's up with her? 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 Wait, what? Wait. What? What's that must be a typo, because, like, that's weird. Uh, what's wrong, little doggy? Nothing to do as usual? Hi, Busa. Hmm. The doggy's ignoring me. What? How long have you been planning to just sit there? Remind me of, this, of a certain statue I saw somewhere. Is that the canine tracker? Have you come to take me back to my master? You hear that, Ami? You must be one on an errand from Princess. Uh, I, I can't talk. The princess will say if you bear that. But I shall not move from here, for the festival begins soon. Festival? What? Canine War? Choo choo! I thought your name was Hayabusa. Lies all around. You've got to be kidding me! You're one of the Satomi Canine Warriors? And you're ignoring the princess's summons to wait for a festival? My exact reaction. You bear the canine tracker, so you must know what it decrees. Men settle their differences at night. Man to man. Fist to fist. Man to man. Fist to fist. Don't you mean dog to wolf, paw to paw? You gonna let this punk talk to you like that, Ami? Nah, we're going to totally pick a fight. Even though we're just kind of like... Anyway. Fighting stance, yo, it's happening. But anyways, uh, so this dog or this this canine warrior will have everything that uh, all the other canine warriors have. So speed, and and he'll be doing those annoying jumps, and he'll also be pooping, and the poop explodes, and then and then also he'll be digging, uh, what, what, digging holes and. And, and then peeing, and then uh, sapping your ink with- Oh my god! Okay, good. I was about to get ink- or er, get my ink sapped, but I don't want that- Really, man! Really! It takes me a while to recover from that, and then, like, freaking- yeah. That's right. That's right. I, I feel like I'm always like, oh god, uh, that's not good. I am stuck in that. Um, Hole. Okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, cause if you get stuck in that hole, he will pee on you, and then, and then, I didn't mean to do- Um, I apologize for sucking so badly this time around. Uh, but that kind of made up for sucking, uh, getting all the- I almost got combo on him, too, so. Oh my god. Really? Yeah, I don't got to though. I just, just kind of had that on straight. But anyway, you are done. You are dead. You are dead to me. <laughs> you are dead to me. Well, just shut up. Shut up. That was like the worst I've ever done on any fight ever. I don't even remember how uh, me getting that in any... Whatever, never mind. Okay, you've got some explaining to do, you doggy. 
Why are you ignoring the princess's summons to wait for for the festival? I am not the real Hayabusa. The real Hayabusa died along with Mushi, Mushi's father when we were attacked by the monsters deep in the forest. I happened to pass by that time, but it was too late. Right before Hayabusa died, he begged me to protect Mushi. He foretold the coming of an uh, 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 evil arrow from the sky. An arrow that would kill Mushi on the night of the full moon. That is how I came to live here in this village. I have been waiting for the full moon of the festival season. Nobody noticed that I was not the Hayabusa, or real Hayabusa, as we are the same breed. The night of the full moon draws near. I shall not move from here. My duty is to fulfill Hayabusa's dying wish. I must protect Mushi. Oh, look at that. Now, give us your orb and we won't hurt you. Good? Good. Yes. Yay, we got the orb. Tame the loyalty orb. Okay. Uh, what was all that he said about, uh, that he said Hayabusa foretold? Something or other about an arrow that would kill Mushi? It's not a very happy story for a festive season. I hope it's not related to the legend of Orochi and the arrow. No, I hope it's not that either. Hint, 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 hint. Hey, Ami. Looks like we found the three stone powers that canine warriors had. Hmm. I know we promised to bring the dogs back, but, well, at least we can bring Princess Fuse the power orbs. But I wonder. You think they can handle the Crimson Helm over there at the Gale Shrine? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if they can do it. But anyways, I will go, I will meet you guys back at, uh, in Kusa Village. And, uh, to meet with Princess Fuse. Alright, so we're back over here in Kusa Village. At the Gale Shrine. And uh, I kinda like all of these guys as a dialogue here. Canon Warriors have yet to gather. Tardiness is unacceptable. Hear that, Ollie? What a hypocrite. <laughs> uh, the opponent is covered with evil. And evil. We are no match. You got that right, you mutt. That's why you gotta help us out here. <laughs> what do you got to say? Are you a wolf? Where are you where were you born? Yeah, come to think of it, where were you, poor Nami? Oh, a celestial plague, your puny little mind is too tiny to comprehend. I don't know. You bear strange markings, is that some kind of new style? Huh? Oh, those red marks? I seriously doubt it. Yeah, I don't know about that. Worthy opponent, I see! Let us fight again one day! You got it. Nami will take you on any time, right, for a ball? It's true. I will, maybe, uh, when I'm not eating. <laughs> but gods don't need to eat. They, I don't know. Why? If uh, it's it's my favorite wolf and bug. Enough with the thing with the bug thing already. I must speak to you about uh, three remaining canine warriors. I'm sensing something different about them. Do you bring word of their condition or whereabouts? <laughs> well, uh, about that. We did find other three, but you found them? Well, yeah, it's kind of a long story, but I'm afraid they won't be coming back. Instead, they gave us the Satomi power so that that's all that matters, right? I see. Well, I did sense the canine warriors had changed in some way. Maybe they had a, a fateful encounter during their journey. Perhaps strong bonds that cannot be broken have been forged. They are to live apart from the Satomi house, I have but one wish. I would wish them to protect the peace under their new master. For that is, is, their, uh, is the role they were meant to fulfill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here are the Satomi power orbs glitching out like no other. <laughs> That's okay, right? Well, at any rate, all the Satomi power orbs have been returned. Whew. What? What is this? What is this? I think they like us. Whoa, check it out. The power orbs are spinning around us. How could this be? Have the power orbs accepted you as their new master? Master, yeah, we are 
master of the spinning orb things. Master? What are you, tr uh, what are you talking about, lady? <laughs> One does not choose to take the orbs. They choose their master. Oh, magnificent power orbs, heirloom of the Satomi house. Are these who you have chosen to decide the Satomi's fatas? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Look at that. You guys are jealous. You guys are so jealous. Alright, so with the Satomi power orbs, what you want to do here is go uh, behind here to the legitimate um, Gale Shrine. But first, there are some monkeys to feed, and also, there's a clover here. And... Bam. Er, not bam, I guess. Yeah. And monkeys! Come to me, monkeys. I am God. I am God. I'm giving you food. Hmm. Nine frames. So, uh, I said I was saving up for... Yeah, no. Not that. Not that. For, uh, more e-pots, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, because I have 300, or over 300. So, yes. Um, I know I'm not, like, uh, investing into anything else, and I probably should, but... You know what? I like ink bots, and like I always say, you can never have too many ink bots. So there you go. <coughs> oh gosh, just like choking on my own spit there. That's great to hear. I've just been like Susano style sleeping monk hidden sake. I love Susano so much. What the? Well, Wookie here. It's Susano again. Grum grumble. Oh, spirit who defiles my sword. I am closer than ever. Here at the Gale Shrine, where the beast makes its lair, your true form shall be revealed. This cursed barrier may bar my way, but I pray long and hard. Shall eventually find a way in. Mumble mumble. Grumble grumble. Lazy bums <laughs> talking in his sleep. So yeah, Susano is here to uh, take down, or try to find a way into the Gale Shrine to uh, defeat the Crimson something or other, as he would like to say, like to call him. But hey, what's with this guy? I can see right through him. Hmm? Who, who are you? How is it that you can see me? I am Yatsu, the Earth, Earthbound <laughs> spirit who haunts this area. <laughs> Long has it been since uh, any, any venture, any venture through. The Earth Bad Spirit! Yes. Okay, I'll stop that now. My eyes have failed me, I can no longer see. In their stead, my inner eye can judge the person's true form. You may, uh, you appear to be a maiden most fair. Uh, you must leave this place for it is no longer a shrine of the god. Yeah, shrine, shrine of the gods, there you go. It is now a cursed, it is now cursed and under the control of horrible creature. This is no place for a fair maiden such as you. Fair maiden? He talked about you for a ball. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, what's this? It appears the maiden is, uh, is accompanied by a little booger. <laughs> is the village to meet its end at last? <laughs> oh, little booger. <laughs> Hardly anyone has visited the Gale Shrine since it has been cursed. This strangely frenzied man over there is one of the few. He has been meditating alone at the shrine's entrance. But he, his sleep is filled with nightmares that make him cry out. I pity the poor man and would like to render what service I could. But when I try to peer into his dreams, an evil force bars my way. Who is this strange man? That's Pops. <laughs> Uh, or the greatest warrior ever, whatever he calls himself. Come to think of it, Susano said something about being possessed. And he has been acting all weird, like the time he helped uh, Kushi. What's this? Uh, it enveloped your body. Could could it be the tell me power orbs? Fair maiden, the orbs would only choose the one who is our savior. Eight colors of light are living proof of that. 
Very well, you may pass, O oh, Savior of the Great, uh, the Satome House. And so these things will act as a key and open up the way to the, uh, the, the second dungeon here. Beware, Fairy Maiden, Crimson Helm was a terrible foe. It is said that when the eight-headed serpent slain 100 years ago, Crimson Helm emerged from a, from a pool of beast's blood. Never let your guard down. That's not the only thing that emerged from the beast's blood, and I'll talk about that in a second here. Wait, wait, wait. The door to the Gale Shrine has opened. I must have finally communed with the gods. The time has come, foul spirit. I shall reveal your true form. And he just runs off. Like... Susano always does. No, Pops, wait! <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so, um, we're now in the Gale Shrine. But anyways, what I was talking about, um, with, uh, the, the other thing that was, um, that, uh, that was not, that not the only thing that, um, emerged, uh, from, 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 from Old Cheese Blood, uh, it's actually, um, this is actually kind of like, uh, um, uh, what am, I, what am I trying to say here? But anyways, that, that, that connects to, um, Okami Den, who, uh, which is the sequel to this, uh, this game, Okami. Um, which, I mean, I like a lot. It's one of my favorite Nintendo DS games ever, and I feel like it's one of the greatest Nintendo DS games, but it just doesn't do Okami a lot of justice, you know? Uh, ooh! Wait a sec. Okay, anyways. Anyways, um, yeah, um... Uh... Sorry for that cut there. My... My computer was running out of space. But, um, anyways... Oh my gosh, I skipped over that. But anyway, this is a Chimera. This is a new enemy. Um... It's, uh, it's, it's a lot like the, um, the Bud Ogre. Except... I feel like it's just a lot easier. Um... You know, you don't have to bloom it, and it's just a lot less annoying, and everything, and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I feel like it's just a lot easier to take down. And, uh, if you, if you try to, uh, I, I recommend you power slash this thing when it is, um, dazed, because if not, it, it'll do that, and, uh, you'll hurt yourself, and, uh, yeah, just don't do it. Just don't do it. But anyways, um... It's full finisher is something that we don't have yet. It's power slash two. It's uh, we'll get it towards the middle. So don't worry about that. But anyway, what I was saying about Okamiden, I really like Okamiden, but it just doesn't do. It feels like it felt like more of a spinoff. I mean, I'm definitely gonna do. Um, I am definitely going to let's play Okamiden in the future because I, I love that game. And of course, it's it's the sequel to my favorite one of my favorite games ever. So I mean, how can I not do it? But, um, it just doesn't do Okami justice, I feel. So, but yeah, anyway. Like, okay, so this room, like, it totally reminds me of, um, in the Forest Temple in, uh, in, in Twilight Princess, where you have, like, a room where you have to, um, use the Gale Boomerang on, on, uh, on it. Um, just gonna save real quick. Ah, uh, no. Anyways. Um, we got this lockjaw here, but we do have a key, so just take care of that guy. And bam. And you would think you would just, um, go up this elevator, but what you want to do instead is make the elevator go up and then drop it right down. Because there's some secrets, secrety secret secrets, that you want to get. Especially if you uh, want to 100% this game. So, of course, there are animals you have to feed to get 100%. You have to feed all the animals. Um, and that's that. That's just the... Don't, don't worry about that. That's just the um, floor coming down. Uh, but anyways. Uh, what, what? Oh, okay. That was weird. Well, I think it was because my knee was like in front of the center bar, but that's okay. Um, uh, but yeah, anyways... What you really, what I really was here for was a stray bead, so. Stray bead. And also, praise. Who, who, doesn't, who doesn't like praise? Come on now, come on. I said praise, okay. 
and also rabbit statue. And uh, very fitting because we just uh, we just encountered the uh, the god the uh, the um, brush god who was uh, based off of um, the rabbit. Yes. But anyways, now you want to uh, ride this um, elevator upwards one level. Go here, the key, or not? I mean, no. Oh wait, <laughs> we already used the key. That's right. But anyways, I will take care of this chimera and see you guys. Uh, yeah, see you guys back <laughs> here. Uh, video editing magic go. All right. We defeated that Chimera and got ourselves another key. Man, <laughs> Chimeras must be like keeper of keys or something. I don't know. Um, but anyways, we want to drop back down here and then go to the second or third level. Ah. Really? And up. And up. Oh, wait a minute. We, we, we've, uh, we've already been here. No! Well, that was a thing. Anyways, you want to take your key, and you want to, uh, go up to the third level, and, uh, take care of the lockjaw on that third level, and then, only then, Alright. And yeah. And up these stairs. Hello, eagles. Line hawks and hawks. Um But anyways, what can be up here? What is this? So we are on top of the big windmill. Finally. Now that's one big windmill. Um, this has been going on for quite a bit. So um, I'm going to end it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, maybe, you know, because I would love that. Um, I would love to have you on the catacomb train. But uh, until next time, guys, I will see you guys in the next uh, uh, episode. Um, I believe you, go, you guys on a cliffhanger. What's gonna happen next? So, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Katakuna. Katakuna out, yo.